So we can do some side hops, you know, like we did the tire. Then we can do Da Vinci Man, arms out wide, touch toes. Then we're going to do some side skaters and then we're going to do some burpees. We're going to get three times in a row. The burpees are going to get harder if you want them to. So I'm going to shut up now and start going. So, yeah, Andy's just checking everything's fine because I just ran madly into the house and then ran off again. Um, side hops, are we ready? 30 seconds, let's go. One, two, three. So this is the side hop. One, two, three. High knees going to the side landing just on that side leg and then pushing off of it to so try and get fairly low into that leg. We're gonna warm up that, those muscles down the side of our leg and our glutes. Good. Nice and bouncy and moving side to side. It's always a bit trickier. So I'm going to uh, try that first of all, just to shake things up straight away and stop into Da Vinci Man. So arms out wide, bend, touch your ankle or toe. Quite a nice one just to get our um, stretch on basically. It's a good dynamic stretch. So feel that down the back of your legs and a bit of a rotation there in the torso, which is good. And hinging from the hips. Getting us ready for some hip action. Okay, turning that into side skaters. Go. So you can either sort of step it or get a nice jump in there. If you want to make it even harder, touch the floor. And again, that's going to get your back bending, it's going to get your abs engaged. So that's a bit much already because we have only just started. Keep it up here bouncy get that back knee bent as low as is comfortable and just really push off that foot and stop and oh burpees just 30 seconds really normal ones for now jump out jump in jump up and go out in up. sorry that's my hair Okay, it's my headphone. Might be causing some sticky noises. Good. Keep going. Just point that best way. Always trying to figure out the best way to have my hair. This I don't think is the right way. Good. One more. And up. Well done. Okay. Straight back into side hops. And go. One. So we're going to run through this another two times, but it's only two minutes because it's four things for 30 seconds, nice and easy. Jeffrey, don't worry, he's gone. There you are. Say hi to everyone. Good, and stop. And we're into Da Vinci Man. Good. Take this nice and steady. It can be a bit, a little bit like wrenchy down the back of your legs if you're not careful. If you're quite tight in your hamstrings, you might feel this. Also, if your low back's a little bit stiff, you might be sitting down at a, all day, sitting at a desk. It might be, but this just needs to be taken nice and steady. Good. And into side skaters. Good. So remember, hand to the floor if you want to make it a little bit more lower back and core action. My lower back's a bit sore, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to have a nice little bounce side to side. My arms just sort of flail around, do whatever is comfortable for yours. Thanks for keeping your cameras on, guys. Makes me feel like I'm not all by myself in the teepee, in the dark, and stop. All right, burpees. Let's now add a little tuck jump, maybe. Ready? Go. This is optional to so just jump out, jump in, and nice big tuck. Out, in, and tuck. 
out, in, and tuck. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> in, and tuck. Good, 10 seconds left, couple more. And tuck, last one. Out, in, and tuck. Good stuff, okay. A little breather, once more through. Ready, 30 second side hops, go. So this is, I mean, I will obviously change. Every single class is gonna be different, but tend to be a little bit plyometric, start to warm us up, intermix with a bit of dynamic stretching, like inchworms and uh, the Da Vinci Man type stuff, lunging, whatever. And then we get a little bit more, um, what's it called? Stop and uh, Da Vinci Man, go. Yeah, then we might get a little bit more strength base. Um, depends really. I don't have a formula. I like to keep you on your toes. Some will be a mix of everything in a set. We might do a big set, mix up a bit of everything from plyo to uh, lower body, upper body core. We might do all of it and then repeat. Or we might do it like today, which is gonna be quite sort of plyometric and then quite lower body strength, upper body strength, finishing the core and stop. Side skaters, go. So we're trying to cover all bases basically in every class. We're gonna get the heart rate up, like hopefully it is now. Mine is Ooh, nice and bouncy. And you know what? We're in this bloody base there. Really warm. I don't know what temperature it is. A bit warm for a base there. Don't worry, I'll try not to get too hot and strip off and terrify you all. And stop into our burpees. Ready? Last ones. Oh, sorry, wait. Sorry, this one. Try and add a press up and the tuck jump. Don't worry if you can't do the press up. Ready, go. But try and do the tuck jump. So jump out, press, jump in, and knees come up. If you wanna come all the way down to the floor and jump up, and then knees up, please do. I kind of like doing a press up rather than coming all the way down because it gives my arms a little bit more uh, work. Sweaty already. Sorry, you probably don't need to know that. Okay. Grab a bit of water. Get that heart rate down slightly. Right, so we're gonna do kneel backs. So I'll show all of these. Mountain climbers, hinges, so like one leg hinge. And then we're doing plank jack to press, my old fave. We're gonna do that three times through. So we're not gonna time these, we're gonna, oh, actually maybe I'll, I'll time the mountain climbers. Hmm, 30, yeah, let's do 30. So, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So 10 kneel back thrust throughs on each leg, then 30 seconds mountain climbers, and then 10 hinges each leg, and then just five plank jack to press. So what I mean by kneel back, if you want a mat for this for your knee, please feel free. You don't need to touch your floor with your knee, touch the floor with your knee. Um, but if you do wanna come all the way down, then maybe you want a mat and you're sending it through. Either you can come up to stand and send it back, that's hard enough. Or if you want to add a bit more stability work, let's bring it all the way up. 10 all on one leg, swap legs. Mountain climbers, as you know, like so. Um, hinges, you wanna get that foot nice and grounded, grip the floor with your toes. And then the other leg's off the floor and you're just gonna hinge back and forth. Try not to put this foot down in between, but if you need to tap the floor at any point to stabilize yourself, do just go for it, that's fine. And then a plank jack to press. You're in a plank, you're gonna jack your legs three times and then do a press up. If you need to come down to your knees for that press up, that's great. And then up you come for the jacks. 
Um, yeah, we do that five, five times. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna start with our kneel backs. 10 on each leg. Oh, actually, every time I say um, reps, they're the reps I'm gonna do. If you do it at a different pace and don't do as many or do more, no problem, do your thing. It's just giving us some structure and trying to make sure things are even on each leg. So do whatever pace you wanna go. All right, hinge back, hinge back, kneel back. Kneel and bring it up. And two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come all the way back, swap legs. And the other leg, we're going one, two, whoop, wobbly on this leg, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good stuff. Into our mountain climbers. 30 seconds, guys. Go. So keep those shoulders over your wrists. Keep your back flat, bum low and level with that back. And just go at whatever pace you want. If you want to slow it down, take it more at a walking pace. If you want to be like sprinting, go for it. I'm going to get like a medium, medium pace. Really start to feel those arms and your core kicking in. No idea how much time's left. Oh, and stop. Okay, into our hinges. So, I was about to say find a flat bit of ground. You're probably inside on a flat bit of ground. Um, me that's gotta find it. So, take that one foot off the floor and then just come forward like so. If you've got a weight, a kettlebell or dumbbells or anything, a paint can, you can always hold it and use it sort of like a ballast. It's gonna make things a little bit more challenging. Same with uh, your kneel backs. If you've got weights, please involve them if you want to. I have lost count now. Let's say that's nine and 10. Good, other leg. Knee, foot off the floor, knee up, and then send it back. Again, you might find one side a little bit more stable than the other. Perfectly normal. We have, we definitely favor one side and we have more strength on one side, depending on what sort of side you lead with and stabilize yourself with. Again, I've lost count. I think that's six. Let's do four more. And three. So we're really working the glute of that standing leg and the hamstring being nice and worked as we pivot forward and back. Is that 10? That'll do. All right, into our plank jack to press. So in your plank again. So three jacks, one press. And one, two, three, and press. One, two, three, and press. That's two, three more. One, two, three, press. One, two, three, and our last one. One, two, three, and press. Good stuff. Round one over, on to round two guys. Into our kneel backs. Okay, let's get straight into this. So if you want to make it slightly harder, like I said, you can add weight. You can also add a little hop. Ah! <laughs> that went well, at the top. Um, so you're sort of skipping. So I'm gonna try that for this one. That really burns the glutes. All right, let's go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my hamstring. Seven, on fire. Eight, nine. 10, woo, oh, swap legs. Adding that jump really makes it tough. And the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, four more. 
and you don't have to hop and you also don't have to bring that knee up like I said you can just bring your foot up to meet the other one and that's ten Woo. in two mountain climbers for 30 seconds and go so again keep those remember to keep that form don't let that bum creep up you want to feel those abs working your shoulders over your wrists unless it's a lot of pressure on your wrist then you can always move back a bit good keep going guys three more seconds and stop up we get Whew. in two our oh, hinges <laughs> had a mind blank that's gonna happen regularly i think all right so Find that grounding and we're going to tip forward and come up. So again, if you can keep that foot off the ground the whole time, do. If you want to add some weight, please do. If you need to just tap that foot down for a bit of balance, that is not a problem. We're just growing the stability, working on that strength on our in our glutes and our hamstrings, that control, that core stability, all underpinned in our nice strong glutes. Why do I even bother setting wraps? I just count, I just uh, lose count when I talk. Okay, other leg, knee up, and go. Good. Oop, that's four. We count out loud. Five. Actually, it might put you guys off. That thing, you might not be going at the same pace. Six. Seven. Like I said, that doesn't matter. This is your workout. I am just guiding you through it. Good. Two. And one. Good. I just do whatever with my hands as well. You might. You might want them out here on your hips. Do whatever works. All right, we are into our plank jack to press. Five of these. And one, two, three, and press. 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 One, two, three, press. Last one. Two and three. Last press. Well done, team. Grab yourself a little swig of water. We've got one more through all of that, okay? Okay. So, starting with our kneel backs. Add that hop if you want. Hold some dumbbells if you've got them. Do a few bicep curls with it. Whatever you've got handy. Okay, so let's get back onto one knee and let's go 10 on one leg. One, two, like I said, that knee doesn't have to touch the floor as it comes back down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten. Oh, I think that was 11 that time. Other knee back and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake those legs out. Whew. All right, into mountain climbers. 30 seconds. Let's go. Pretty good. Keep it going. Remember, go at your own pace. Good. 15 seconds to go. That way. Uh, good. Three, two, one. Stop. No more mountain climbers, I swear. All right, hinges. Again, and if you really struggle with these, you can always hold on to something 
while you do it. If you've got like a chair or something there, you can just hold the back of the chair just to give you that little bit of stability, just to help you. It doesn't really take the weight off much. It just really helps grow that stabilization. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, whoop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And swap legs. Go one, whoop, two, three, four. If I'm going too fast, please slow it down. Doesn't matter how many you do, control with this is what you're after, not speed. That eight, let's say it's eight, nine, whoop, wobble, and ten. Good. All right, shake those legs off. We're into our plank jack to press. Last one of these. They're not the last of our press ups, I'm sorry. We do have a nice little round of press ups to come. All right, so in your plank, let's jack those legs. One, two, three, and press. One, two, three, and that's the second. One, two, three. Number three, one, two, three, and that's the fourth, and it's our last one. One, two, three, and press. Good stuff, guys. Round over, not round, set over. Grab some water. Jeffrey, can you come here? Good boy, can you come and sit in your bed? Come on, in your bed. Good boy. No, in your bed, darling. I don't have any treats. You can see a picture, everyone. Oh, Taz, look. Look, Jeff, it's your birdie. Can you see Taz? Oh, I don't think he can see. You just had dinner, Jeffrey. Stop begging. Okay, team, so as I said, with the tricep dips, if you've got a chair or a bench, use that, or grab yourself a kettlebell, or, a, or some dumbbells, or a paint can, or a whatever you have at home, or whatever you've got to hand. What am I gonna grab? Oh dear, what weight shall I use? I've gone for eight and this may be quite over optimistic. Um, do you know what? I'm also gonna get a mat because as you all know, this tent, tent, it's not a tent, it's a teepee. This teepee's uh, flooring, not the most comfortable. This is a very dirty mat. Okay, I, I like lots of cushioning, so I've folded it several times. We're gonna do three rounds, 10 press ups, 15 tricep dips, thrice through. The first lot of press ups are gonna be, I think someone's running on the golf course, I thought it was Jeffrey, um, are gonna be normal ones. So we're just gonna do normal, have your hands sort of wherever is comfortable. I'm gonna have mine, you know, a bit, bit wider than shoulders. Um, and you can do this in a box, you can do this on your knees, whatever you want, 10 straightforward ones. The next round, I want to get us doing really nice tight ones to the body, elbows really, really tight, more like yogi ones. Um, and that's all triceps really, which is a bit mean because then we're also doing tricep dips. Um, and then the last one, we're gonna stagger our hands and do one and then move our hands the other way, stagger. So we're gonna sort of mix up and you're gonna feel lots of different muscles getting involved in each one. Um, you know, you, you'll feel what dominant. So when our arms are staggered, you're gonna feel a lot more shoulder work going on. Obviously the tight ones, a lot of triceps. These ones, it's gonna be more chest. So these first ones, we've got nice big chest muscles and our shoulders are in there as well. Got back muscles working. We're kind of like using a lot, a lot of nice big muscles. So they are, they're the easiest type. We're gonna make it harder as we go. Okay, just chatting to uh, put off the inevitable. Just 10, just 10. Well, I'm gonna do 10, as I said. I'm gonna count my way through. Please go at another pace if you wanna go faster or, well, don't go too fast. So you know how I feel about rushing things. Okay, 10 press-ups, are we ready? And 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, into our tricep dips. Please feel free to do these whatever way, ever way you want. Actually, if you have like dumbbells or something and you want to do you know, tricep extensions like so, you can do them. Um, yeah, we just want to work those triceps, mix it up. But if you don't have anything to weight, to use as a weight, sorry, then use your own body and just use a bench or a chair. All right, 15 of these and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done. Oof. Those arms will shake out. So, these press-ups, if you normally do them on your toes, up on your feet, um, please feel free to come down to your knees because they're much harder and I'd rather you work on your form and manage 10 really good ones on your knees, which is still gonna be really hard, um, than try and do it up in a high plank and not, you know, not fully um, engage the, you know, get your core working and things like that. It's really easy just to like, slip out of form because it's bloody hard. I might try five or so in, in um, a high plank and then I might come to my knees because I do find these really tough. Okay, team. So hands can be where they were before, but what you want to do is really force those elbows tight to the body like so, okay? Oh, why did I do like a, a practice one? You just save my energy. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, these are getting tough, nine, oh my gosh, and ten. Oh, well done. So if you're on your knees or in a box, you're going to be using slightly less core. However, I feel like more, I get more weight in my arms because my core does less work and I've got less, because when I'm up in a high plank one, I you know squeeze my knees, get those um, leg muscles really engaged. And you can't really do that when you're uh, on your knees. You've just got to get all that body weight into the arms and it's bloody hard. Jeffrey, I think he's waiting for you guys. He keeps going out there. Jeff, no, don't bark at them, please. Come here. He's gonna bark at the people on the golf course. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey, come here. Jeff. Let's do our tricep. And go. One, two, three, four, five. It's my fault for drawing attention. Jeff, come here. Eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. I mean, I should be pleased that he barks at random lights in the darkness. That's a good thing. Okay, team, last set of press ups. So you're gonna have one arm forward, the other one slightly back. Don't worry about where your elbows go. Just let them go wherever's comfortable. Um, and then we're gonna swap between each time. So you're gonna be here, and then you're gonna move one hand forward, the other one back to the next one. Again, you can do this on your knees or in a box. Oh, my arms hurt. Okay. So first of all, get your arms ready. Get into position and we'll go for 10. One, and then change. Two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, Eight. Oh goodness, two more. Nine. And oh my gosh, my arms are weak. 
said! Oh, they've turned to jelly. Oh, they really have gone to jelly. All right, let's whack out these last 15 triceptics. Ah, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh dear. Oh, it's been a long while since I've done that many press ups and tricep dips back, back, back to back to back. Really hurts the triceps. Hopefully you're feeling like Popeye now. All right, grab some water. We are going into our final set. I'm actually doing all right for time. So, finishing with some core. We're gonna do this three times through, which is gonna be, yeah, it'll be fun. So we're doing our fun reverse crunches into flutter kicks, woo. So five reverse crunches on the fifth one, flutter. Five more, flutter, five more, flutter. And then we're gonna do high plank, shoulder taps. And then we're gonna do side crunches. So lying in a side crunch and then elbow to knee. Let's do 15 on each side. Then we're gonna do forearm plank like so and you're gonna tap your hands out in front. So sort of echoing our high plank. All right, does that make sense? Okay, Ooh, where they? I'm just um, flicking through. Get some, get some new faces on there. I'm on my phone, so I can only see three of you at once, which is sad, but I can't. If I had my laptop down here, I'd have to run it through the Wi-Fi on my phone and it wouldn't really work. We want to have the best chance of me not losing signal. Okay, there we go, nice in the middle. Oh, do you know what, I've already forgotten. Let's get this up here, so professional. Got my little crib sheet. All right, reverse crunches into flutter kicks. So again, count with me if you can. Don't worry if not. So we're doing five crunches and then hold the knees out, hold the knees out, legs out straight and as low as you can and flutter for roughly 10 seconds. I mean, I might start, I'm doing it now guys. So when I do it, um, time, time gets a bit shorter. All right, I'll be ready. Tabletop those legs and knees in, legs out straight. One and two and three, four, Fifth one, keep the legs out and flutter. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back with the knees in, legs out. That's one, two, three, four, five, legs out and flutter. And please keep your hands underneath your lower back if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one last one or just keep readjusting keep pulling those ab muscles in towards your spine flattening your back lower back as much as possible this is the fifth one last flutter eight seven six five four three two one and sweep the floor. Ooh, woken up those abs a little bit that's it I they woken up. They've been working hard already. What with the mountain climbers and the uh, plank jacks and all of that jazz. That works our, our core lots. All right, high plank, shoulder taps. We're gonna do 30 seconds. Are we ready? Go. So keep those hips as stable as possible. Don't rush the, uh, the taps. Try and Control your body weight as that hand comes off the floor. You don't want it shifting too much. I mean, it's gonna shift a bit. That's not a problem. But try not to sort of twist the body. You got eight seconds left here. <laughs> my um, arms are gone because <laughs> my elbows keep giving way. And stop. <sighs> my elbows just keep going whoop, whoop. I think uh, all of those press ups. Okay, into our side crunches. So you want your 
forearm flat to the ground, bend that bottom knee. You can always have it straight. I find my form's terrible if I do that. So I prefer having it a bit bent. And then top leg straight and keep that off the floor. Bring your hip up. I like having hand on head and then just bringing knee in. You can get your hand out straight if you want and then bring it in, that's fine. Okay, that's three and four. Five, we're doing 15, remember. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, and let's go the other way. That's the trouble. We do have to do it on both sides. All right, up we come. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Oh, starting to feel it there. Okay, into our forearm plank. Another 30 seconds. And we're gonna tap our hands forward. Um, just sort of out like that and try again to keep those hips nice and stable. All right, up we come and go. One, two, actually, why am I counting? We're doing this for time. So you may need to Adjust your feet a little bit to make sure you're nice and stable. Remember to keep squeezing those glutes, engaging those lower band of abs. They're actually gonna feel it all the way up your uh, stomach, this one. I find this one tougher than the uh, good three seconds than the high one. Ooh, and stop. Ooh, sorry for the groan, that was quite dramatic. Okay, guys, that was our little practice round of that. We're gonna do it twice and all three. So we've got reverse crunches again, all three, all three with the flutters, and then into high plank, into side crunches, into forearm plank. Well, hey, and then we will stretch. Okay, so into your uh, reverse crunch mode. Hang on, I'm just gonna call Jeff in again. Jeffrey, I seriously think he's confused. He's waiting for all you lot to come and you haven't arrived. Jeffrey! You can hear him, there he is. No one's coming, bubs. Go and sit in your bed. Go on, I know, it's terribly sad. Oh no, he's going off into the darkness again. All right, team, let's go. Reverse crunches, out to stretch. One, and two, three, four, fifth one, let's flutter kick. Five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Good. Two, three, four, and the fifth one. Let's keep those legs out straight. Pull the abs into your spine. Keep that lower back as flat as possible. I'm gripping my mat here. <laughs> and three, two, one. Wait, was that two or three? Let's do one more. <laughs> I think that was only twice three, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Oh, fifth one. Legs out, flutter. Five, four, three, two, one. And I told you, when I talk, I just lose count completely. It's terrible. All right, guys. Oh, my arms are super wobbly. <laughs> okay, I did do an upper body online class this morning, so it's probably left over from that as well. Not used to all this team. I actually have to do work now. I can't just stand there. All right, hands underneath shoulders, 30 seconds on the clock and go. Nice and steady. Keep those hips nice and stable. Really feeling the abs now. Good. You've got 10 more seconds here. At any point you need to come down. Again, that's totally fine. 
breaths if you need to, but if you can use that 30 seconds and stop as a real aim to keep up for the entire time, please do. Jump! Jump! Sorry about the shouting. I just want to rush off. You might be chasing something. We don't want that, do we? All right, into our side plank, not plank, side crunch. Jump! Okay. Did Joe Wicks do this? Did he shout into the abyss after his dog? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh yeah, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oof. Also, my fabulous counting, which is just quite erratic. Just change, change tact halfway through. All right, up we come. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, burning thirteen. 14 and 15. Oh my goodness. I forgot to say with that one, sometimes I quite, I was gonna say I quite like to, I mean, love to, um, hold a dumbbell and in your hands, it doesn't have to be heavy or anything. It's just like, as you're coming out and in, it gives an extra, an extra challenge, an extra boost. Um, so feel free if you've got a dumbbell to hand to try that for the last round after this. Okay, into our forearm plank for 30 seconds. Ready and go. You do. Yep, there we go. We've started. So you can just hold the plank if you don't want to do taps, but if you can keep that going. So I find I've got, I end up tipping more with this one because you've got a bit less stability. Being that much closer to the ground, it's a lot harder to keep yourself stable. We have got five more seconds. Tapping out. Two and one. And down. Oh, you're doing so well, guys. I'm going over just because I started late. That's my fault. If you need to stop, well, you know what's locked down. You've got nowhere to go. So actually, stay. Stay for the final round. We're all going to do it together. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. We need to uh, rethink my outfit for these long sleeves. It's about 13 degrees, isn't it? It is 13 degrees. All right, guys, you know the drill. Reverse crunches into flutters. Let's go and reverse, legs out. Reverse, legs out, that's two. That's three, four, and five. And squeeze the glutes, keep those legs nice and long, fluttering away, pull those abs in towards your spine. I want that lower back flat as you can get it. Two, one, and knee straight back, and out. And two, and three, four. Fifth one, let's flutter. Five, four, three, two, one. Last set of these, one. Two, three, four, fifth one, legs out straight, let's flutter. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Whoo, good old burn there to those lower abs, and you're probably feeling your hip flexors do quite a lot of those works with your quads. That is fine too. It's gonna, it's gonna slip into that area. We do want to keep making sure we're pulling those abs in, flattening that lower back to make sure that most of that strength and control is coming from um, your abs and not from your legs, but it's gonna happen. Okay, into a high plank. 30 seconds, shoulder taps, let's go.
remember to keep those wrists underneath your shoulders unless you've got real pain in those wrists then feel free to bring it forward a little bit just to ease that weight otherwise keep it nice and level and grounded three two one and down into your sides last lot of these team 15 crunches up we come and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen good stuff swap it over well done if you've added a weight for the last one i haven't i'm not going to okay and only just because you know i want to be there for the people who don't have weights at home not because i'm lazy and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten five more five four three two and one oh really feeling it here in that sort of bit of a chop of your hip and your glute in the side okay team we have got one more plank left 30 seconds in a forearm plank tapping your hands forward for a little bit of fun if you want to okay are we ready are we ready let's go ah, get those taps going remember keep nice and steady try not to tip slow it down maybe you find you're tipping too much if you really hate the tapping just hold that plank rework on that plank we've got five seconds guys and three two one and stop oh well done really really good work how's everyone feeling hopefully energized i feel quite energized actually thought i'd be exhausted i mean i'm definitely wobbly oh i feel I feel well worked i feel like we've worked pretty much the whole body tried to get some lateral movements in there we did a lot of upper body we did a lot of core we did a lot of lower body with those kneel backs and those hinges really worked those legs so let's give ourselves a very well earned stretch out so we're gonna have nice wide legs and we're gonna hinge from the hips and we're gonna get the weight into our toes not toes into the balls of your feet push that bum nice and high and just hinging there let's take it to the right side or the left doesn't matter for a bit of an extra stretch down that leg your hamstrings will thank you after all of those other hinges and um, all that work we did on unilateral um, and our unilateral moves and the other way um, and thank you all very very much for coming it's so weird being back to this again on July whatever it was I think it was like the, yeah the first or the fourth of July was it it was early July come back to the middle and roll it up when I did uh yeah did my last zoom I thought we were back shouldn't have been so hopeful should we but you didn't have to come out and drive here in the dark you get to now just be at home which is which is quite nice um oh Jeffrey Jeffrey's definitely missed you guys he's very confused oh, oh, sorry <laughs> my calf was just cramping then Okay, other quad, try not to cramp up any other muscles. Um, but yeah, there are there are definitely plus sides. One, it's only four weeks. Um, two, we get to try new stuff. We don't do a huge amount of body weight stuff at, um, in the class. We do like to use our tires and things. So it's quite nice to use our body this way. Okay, let's do a shoulder stretch. Um, you know, you're really gonna work on your press ups. Definitely had quite a few of you over Zoom over summer 
go from not being able to do one to being a master of press ups because of uh, all of these classes. And squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring those arms back, open up that chest. Oof, nice big stretch. Good. And let's take our arm across the body. Like I said, each class is going to be different. Um, but, you know, it's, it's still going to work. Work us nice and hard. Some are going to be a bit more strength. Some are going to be a bit more jumpy. I'm going to try and give a good jumpy. I use all the technical terms, don't I? Um, so, yeah, we're going to try and give a good mix each time. Keep them nice and interesting. Might try some new things that you haven't done before. And like I said, I will involve weights at some point. Um, not involve them really myself. I'll try and do as much as I can without any weights. Let's do some tricep stretches after all those dips. Um, because I know not everyone is going to have the stuff you need at home for that. So there's no point me doing a whole class around it because it's very unfair. And the other one. But I'll always tell you when you can involve a weight or a tire if you've still got a tire at home. I know some of you have gone out and got ones. You might still have one from last lockdown. You know, so we might do some uh, shoulder presses, but I'll try and give you a heads up in um, your email with the Zoom link beforehand if you need anything weighty. And